Good Tuesday on this approaching late April of the 18th uh, of April of 2023. This has been Chenzo's Gold Crypto Investing. Where you like, subscribe, and share for that probability-based, company-made, super simple, easy, technical trading with a probability-based system and trading software that is an industry exclusive. We're going to take a quick look at this 5.53 in the morning as I got seven minutes to get inside to the plant. So I got three minutes to do this. We got the Bitcoin price, which has now bounced beautifully off the 100-day moving average in blue that was uptrending that we were talking about when it was sitting up here. That a dump down would be either the 100-day or the 200-day. And if it bounced on the 100-day, you would come back up to this 30,000 bottom part of this red trading zone. And then you would have to get above that and try to breach your old highs to try to run up at that 31,000, uh, 32,000. If not, you're going to get rejected and you're going to try it all over again from the 200 day and try to come back up. And that's what we're looking at right now in the short term as you need to stay above that 200 day to remain bullish in this early morning technical analysis. You can see Ethereum has overachieved to the maximum now and come all the way up to this red trading zone up here, this red overhead resistance at 2169. Came through the VP volume indicator after months of getting rejected by it and even farther back in the way, way left machine but you finally traded your way through the red vp volume indicator and now you're bullish when you're on the top side of this in ethereum you flip bullish and now if you came back down you'd expect it to bounce when you came back down versus how many times it got rejected here and even back further into the past if we just go to the way back machine you can see rejected rejected from the time it slipped below it so now we're going to try to see if we can get above this major trading area where we have support and resistance where you might trade back down to the moving averages but as long as you stay above the moving averages and on the top side of this 1802 of the vp volume indicator you can remain bullish and that's what we're going to watch out for cardano is the same thing you can see you came back down tapped this uh line that you used to use it as resistance back in here all kinds of resistance now you're trying to use it as support and uh, that's what we're going to watch to see if you can stay above in cardano because if you can stay above it you got a lot more to the upside where you can pump all the way to 59 cents if you slip this 44 cents you come back down towards that 26 cents but we're watching out for the uh, uh up here at the top side right now and this is the bearish case obviously you got a uh you're still holding it as bullish in xlm and if you can hold this xlm you can trade back up to the next level at 12 and a half cents and then eventually try to get back up to that old school blue dotted line that we used to look at way way left machine all the way back here when we were in this great consolidation of 2022 right and that's the level up near 24 cents that we're going to look to see if we can't push up to of a 100% move. Peace and love.